OK, now we're going to look at adding a marker and then look at how we can follow that marker, look at the trajectory. Marker tool is this one here. If it's maybe on one of the lines of the spline tools, you've got to right click and choose marker. And let's say we're going to follow the golf glove here, the white golf glove. We just left click to add the marker and then we right click over it and do tracking. Now because he'll be moving quite fast, we're going to do a fast object. Okay. Now if we play it through, you notice actually it gets lost. Now if we follow it frame by frame, uh, you see where it happens? It's because it really follows colours and things like that and, and tries to identify the object against the rest of the movie, on this frame it's taken the white part of the the, the building there and added that. So we can just move the marker and we're going to have to do this frame by frame a little bit and just follow it through. See it's then going to part of the house. Some of your videos will work very well with this, some of them like this one, there's a bit of a class so you just have to go through it. It can be a bit painstaking but the results can definitely be worth it. lost it again there because you can see you can't even see his golf gloves so we can move the marker to there though okay I've skipped ahead now I've gone through every frame and we've we've put the marker and made sure it's it's on the the golf glove on every frame so if you now play it through you can see the dot following the hand of the golfer now one of the things that you can do is if you right click on it and then go to show right show trajectory it will then show you the line that that marker has taken. And you can press play and it will follow that marker and highlight it in a lighter colour as it goes around. And that's adding markers and tracking objects.